Hey everybody, it's the Mad Master here. I'm doing another video, um, this time about the controversy about Marilyn Manson, who I never thought I would do another video about. I think I did do a video about him possibly years ago, and I'm trying to remember. So I guess uh, he's accused of one of his ex-wives uh, or lovers of uh, assault or abuse or something like that. Um, but also... <clears throat> I guess apparently he groomed a teenager. Now, the problem with the grooming of the teenager is that she was an adult. Uh, adult teenager, 18, but but um, this just kind of goes to show, you know, like anytime someone comes out and says something about someone as far as accusations go, they get canceled by their, you know, record label or movies they're doing and stuff. And it just, it just, it's got to stop without further investigation. And I'm not saying that Marilyn Manson is a saint or that he actually didn't do this, these things, but we got to, we got to kind of, I mean, it's been said again and again, that cancel culture is toxic. You know, it's just as toxic as the uh, people they're trying to cancel a lot of the time in a certain way. You know, you fight monsters, you become one, or whatever, paraphrasing uh, Frederick Nietzsche. Um, so, I find it really problematic that uh, and funny and ironic that Marilyn Manson is getting canceled because he was always the one that, sh you know, trying to shock people and uh, trying to, you know, raise the ire of the masses in a certain way, or, you know, the, the very brainwashed, conditioned masses. That's what he was kind of holding a mirror to for a lot of his years. I'm not, I'm not a big Marilyn Manson fan. I, I've said before that I think his, you know, him as a person um, seems interesting. You know, someone I would, talk, you know, have great conversations with or hang out with. <clears throat> and, but at the same time, you know, his music, I'm not really a big fan of his music. I like his early demos, you know, his early, uh, when he was in Florida, his early demos are actually pretty good. Um, way more edgy than his actual released albums, as far as I recall, from the early 90s. To me, it was just kind of a, uh, dare I say, more corporate version of a lot of the stuff that was happening in the 80s and 90s, like with uh, a lot of the Wax Tracks artists and, you know, like My Life with the Thrill Kill Cult and like some of the uh, electro-gothic kind of, uh, associated stuff like Alien Sex Fiend. Um, just to, to me, it was like a, uh, that with like the Trent Reznor kind of commercial seal of approval and production wise glossed over, you know, glossed on, you know, glazed on his uh, music. So I never really liked the Marilyn Manson's music that much. I just didn't think it was any better than those bands that came before. I wasn't really, I just was never sold on it. I tried. I tried listening to it, I just got kind of bored. I mean, even, dare I say, I've heard, you know, not a fan by any means, but I've heard Filter albums that had a little more edge than, than some of the Marilyn Manson albums as far as musically. I just never never got into it. That said, you know, I like what Marilyn Manson was about, what he stood for, what he was trying to do with his music and his ideas. So I have a great respect for him as a person, but I don't have... I'm just not a big fan of his music, and that's fine, isn't it? Baby metal fans, I uh, don't like a band, oh, I'm gonna go cry. Uh. So, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, the Marilyn Manson allegations, you know, it's just like, every day it's someone else, it seems like. Now we're back to that. This was like 2019, like, you know, 20, 2014 through 20, 2014, ostensibly to 2019, it's always about someone else got accused of something, and a lot of legitimate people got brought down, you know, uh, legitimate, you know, allegations like Epstein or uh, Bill Cosby or, and so forth. But, you know, with this Marilyn Manson thing, I'm just like, it might turn into a Johnny Depp situation where it's just, you know, it's just fucking nonsense a lot of the time. But you got to be careful with this, you know, these witch hunts, these types of uh, sensationalist witch hunts, especially. And, and it does bother me on a personal level. I'll admit it that this whole grooming thing of someone that was already an adult is being perpetuated as well. And you could probably guess why I'm, <laughs> it's problematic for me because where do we draw the line? So my ex-girlfriend was 15 years younger than me. Um, 
and dated her for about eight months. You know, she was 26 and you can figure out that from my age, uh, from that. And that was about a year ago, broke up. Um, so <laughs> do the math. I'm not going to say what the, uh, what the, uh, age is of me. So where do we draw the line? So if she was 26, she didn't have, should we, should we, uh, move the age of consent to 30 then? You know, if, if someone who's 18 already is being groomed by someone that's 36 or whatever, that was, uh, accused you know Marilyn Manson was accused of what do we draw the line then do do we make the age of consent 21 do we say if you're you know if you're five years you know where if you're five years difference then there's a power di ma power dynamics is what I said on uh six hex and hammers video about the matter this was just like I've had so many arguments with people it's like you know I'll go on one of these dating apps and my age range will be pretty wide and Honestly, like the majority of matches I get are younger-ish. Just being honest, it's not like it's not like I even seek out that per se. You know, I have a age range that's pretty pretty wide. So, are they uh, engaging in their own grooming themselves? Are they grooming themselves for me? Did my ex girlfriend groom herself? Because uh, you know we met and we were together. Did, was there a problematic power dynamic because she was an adult? Uh, by the way, not, you know, I really wouldn't consider a lot of her choices as very adult because uh, of her living situation. But let's, less about that. I'm just saying that, you know, it's just where do we draw the line? I, 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 found, I found that really appalling that the mainstream media is actually leaving out the fact that this uh, girl was 18, apparently, when Marilyn Manson and her met. And that's not even uh, to say, let's see, how many years is that? Um, it's about 18 years difference, I guess. Um, should I just like cancel all the dates that I have with women that are less than less than three years apart from me now because I'm grooming them because of my power dynamic? You know, the power dynamics are wrong. What if she's like a fucking, P you know, PhD student that happens to be 20 years younger? Let's just say that, and I'm living in this fucking apartment and, uh, you know, working on my computer every day for 10 hours a day for a fucking cell phone company or insurance company or whatever I work for. <laughs> um, so, you know, what, where do we draw the line here? What do we, what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to just say, oh God, oh, well, you're five years, you have five years difference, so that's, that's wrong. You're, you're essentially raping the, you're 30 and she's 25. You're essentially raping her. You essentially groomed her. Well, fuck you, you know? Fuck that shit. I'm not going to follow that shit. That's fucking bullshit. So, I mean, you know, Catherine Zeta-Jones is, was raped by Michael Douglas because she was, uh, there's such an age difference. It's automatically rape, huh? You know, I don't know the, the dynamics of fucking Marilyn Manson and this woman's uh, relationship or the other woman's relationship. But I'm just saying that it's so stupid. The media just jumps on these fucking ideas. But that's what they're about. They're about perpetuating sensationalism and shaming. That's what that's what journalism is about in 2021. You know, it's not about getting to the truth of things. I mean, other than Matt Taibbi and Glenn Greenwald and other people like that who might actually be psyop you know part part of the <laughs> it might be uh operation uh uh what's it called you know the they might be cia mockingbird operation they might be operation mockingbird themselves for all we know who the fuck knows what's real anymore but just this bullshit that people are perpetuating but we're back to that we're back to cancel culture um we're kind of getting away from the virus stuff i guess a little bit we're we're talking about marilyn manson in 2021 and hey, there was that hilarious article in the onion years back about Marilyn Manson going door to door now to shock people, you know, or whatever. It was hilarious. Um, but I guess, you know, people have said like the modern mainstream normie, uh, liberal quote unquote establishment, liberal, let's just get it right. Woke establishment, liberal culture is the modern, uh, version of the conservative evangelical Christian culture that burn records and, said Dungeons and Dragons were satanic and, you know, all the sensationalist shit garbage from the 
80s and early 90s. That's the modern version of that. And I didn't believe him at first, you know, the PC social justice warrior slash woke, but very establishment at the same time culture. I'm going to be doing a video about that, by the way, pretty soon about a certain uh, presidential candidate that had just the most outrageous things level at him recently. I was just like, oh my God. Uh, and that's not going to be on my iPhone too. It's going to be a regular video. I'm going to probably get started getting away from my iPhone videos because I have a lot more space on my hard drive to save videos and be able to, just in case the censorship hammer comes down on me. I don't think my channel's big enough for that yet, but you know, or it may never be, but I don't give a fuck. This is a release for me. It's an outlet. It's a catharsis. So anyways, where was I? Uh, you know, the whole problem with the uh, cancel culture. Cancel culture is the modern version of that. I've come to that conclusion. I used to hear these right wingers say that. And, like, and I thought they were full of shit, but now I, I agree with them. And that's about all. Peace out.